welcome to the podcast. Those adults from me, I make podcasts on soft skills. Uh, soft skills are those behaviors that make us stand out. Well, tonight uh, I've got a guest uh, who's a TikToker. You cannot talk about TikTok in Eastern Africa without mentioning her name. You, you obviously know who I'm, who I'm referring to. If you don't, if you don't, she'll be joining us shortly. Hi. Hey. Welcome to this podcast. Yes, Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you very, very well. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes, I can hear you too. <laughs> 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 well, guys, welcome to my podcast. Yeah, this is interesting. Uh, those that do not know me, I'm a podcast on soft skills. But tonight, I've got a guest, uh, Ayola. She will... Ayola, sister, how do I introduce you? When is, uh, do, are you a pop star, celebrity, influencer? Uh, when in Ayola? What is it? Ayola, I'm not a celebrity. I'm not whatever. I'm just a person who Oh, oh, come on, you are, you are, you are an influencer, Ayola, come on. <laughs> anyway, jokes aside, I am influencer. No, no, that's, no, that's a joke, that's not a joke. You are an influencer. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. Do whatever you say, that's not a joke. Hey, and, and, and you know, that's not a small feat. Yeah. So Ayola, um, how the, where, where are you from? As in, as Ayola Rinani, I'm too happy. I mean, <laughs> okay, um, Ayolan is uh, she's from South Sudan, but I was born and raised in Kenya. I went to school in Kenya, I didn't graduate Kenya, so my whole life has been in Kenya. Like, um, Kenya, but I am a South Sudanese, South Sudan. Why would you say South Sudan? Come on, come on, come on, Kenya, Mbona, South Sudan. Sini kona damu ya Sudan. By birth, me ni Kenya. But damu, damu yangu ni South Sudanese. As in, wazazi wametoka pale yani? Yes, wazazi wametoka pale. Wametoka South Sudan. I see. And where did you go to high school, Ayola? Uh, I went to high school uh, first. I went to boarding school. Uh-huh, a school okay. called... Uh, can I really remember? I was saying, I was saying, I was saying, I was I went to Saint Tito, but I was saying, 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 I I was saying, I I didn't like that. Yes. So during first term, we had a, we had a midterm break. So uh-huh. your midterm break, I was saying, I am not coming back. So nikenda mita, niliacha kila kitu, nilibeba tu vitabu, na nikaenda nikakuja nyumbani. Though my mom was tough, mamangu wako antakanga mchezo na shule, yu mambo ya kuamisha mtoto lewa kwa hii shule, after what man atakangi. So I was so scared. Luckily, when I came for my uh, midterm break, my dad was in Kenya. And uh, I am daddy's girl. Mwile nita kumambia ndio, nambia nga hiyo. Yes. Okay. That was first term. Second term, I went to Makini. Okay. Makini but, School. It's in uh, Gongrodi. Gongrodi, yes, Gongrodi, huh? Yes, yeah, Mary Okelo. I went there for the Sasa Mini Lienda, second term. Yes. I did my interview, Nika Enda, second term. Nika Kaa, second term, third term, Paka next year, like January. But now, that is January in form, uh, in form two now. Oh, first right, time. Okay. Yes. Lakini best friend yangu, ali transfer. Alienda shule inaitwa St. Austin's. And I really, Kari. like me and my best friend, we were like this. Ah, St. Austin Karen, St. Austin Karen. Yes? St. Austin Karen, right? St. Austin in Lovington. It's in Lovington. Yes, okay, yes. 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 So apply. still, I went, nikaenda kwa baba. Hai baba na choka makini wa nafika tuende shule. Hadi Saturday, kuspoenda Saturday shule, punishment on Monday. So I don't like it. 
Baba akaniambia ni sawa. Na nikamwambia I don't want Kenyan system. Kenyan system there's no freedom, there's no what. So me stuck in Kenyan system. Akaniambia what system do you want? Nikamwambia British system. That's when now he told me okay, what school do you want? I now told him I want St uh, St Austin's. Iko wapi? Iko na hapa tu karibu na nyumbani. So they took me there. But now I had to go to year 9. Okay, I had okay. to go to year 9. So, so I don't know any Come on, you don't know any Come on, No, ni vile tukiwa wadogo. Okay, tukiwa wadogo tuliteseka kimaisha na baba. So when God blessed our dad, he promised kwa tutu wake wasiwai kosa. Mi hata kuna wakati nilikuwa naenda shule migu. Umoja primary school. I don't know if you guys know the school. Niliendanga hiyo shule sasa zingine nguo inararuka tunaenda but tulikuwa tunaelewa hii ndio hali ya maisha but god will change our situation one day wait ayo le mungoja so hey, what you telling me now sio tu anajua mm. so kwa let me i'll repeat so you know when babi when babi yani kama wala shule umeenda yani set us since you came na tuko tu yeah let's say it's by grace of god so me i went to st austin nilimaliza huko mpaka a levels Yes, that yes. is year 12 nilifika year 12 and i was best in art hata hiyo shule mkienda hadi leo you'll find my artwork is there by the i'm so good in art in drawing and all that so i went there i finished my a levels so when i finished my a levels now i went to uh daystar but not the main campus in nairobi i went to at river Oh, Thriver. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. So when, when, when did you graduate? Will you talk about this already? Me graduate 2018. <laughs> But two schools. I did not finish. Okay. Well, I did not finish in Daystar. So, okay, I went to Daystar. Uh -huh. I did my first, second, third semester. Okay. But because of the distance from home, yes. alafu tunajua hiyo shule ku strike nini nini nini. So, mimi kwetu ni mbali. Imagine kutoka Daisa at River mpaka Nairobi. Yes, na yes. kuna vichaka. Hiyo wakati ilikuwa vichaka nini nini it's not safe. So babangu akaona anitoe. Now they took me to Kenya Methodist in town. Yes, 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 okay. Yes. Yes. That is why I finished yes. and I graduated to main campus in Meru. I see. Well, so are you like Daisa is a very uh it's a religious uh, university. But they, I am an alumni of Daisa too. I I want Daisa. So, wazazi wako ni yani ni wakristo kabisa yani. Ati? Wazazi wako ni wakristo kabisa yani. Uh, my mom is pure pure Christian. Okay. In fact, mamangu ni from uh, uh, Catholic. Okay. okay. Kind of background. But Mungu amrehemu, we lost her last year. So, but my dad, sasa babangu kuna mvutano. My dad family yake like babu wangu is a shade na he wanted all of his children to become muslim so babangu akakuwa kichwa ngumu hataki kukuwa muislamu akaamua kuwa mkristo although my uncles my aunties they are muslim and hata uh, mimi najua tabia za waislamu i know how najua kila kitu about muslim sasa ju alikataa kukuwa muislamu pia sisi watoto wake alituambia tukue wa kristo and and uh, take your religion Do you speak Arabic? Yes, I do speak Arabic. Right, you love Zulu sana kabisa. Kabisa? <laughs> right. Wow. Those those are joining me right now. Welcome to my podcast. I make podcast on soft skills. And soft skills are those behaviors that make us stand out. Tonight I am joined by Ayola. Ayola is a TikToker based in Nairobi, Kenya. Now, just to let you my, just to let my audience know that it is my responsibility to protect my guest. Okay, so I will humbly ask you guys to be respectful with my guests. If you don't like what we are talking about, I kindly ask you to leave. I don't block people, I don't mute people, but I ask you guys to be respectful to my guests. Okay, if you don't like my guests, if you don't like me, please move on. We can talk about that. Okay, so wait, I, I don't know. Yeah. So, so don't you come here and come this time? Okay, the Methodist. Do you want to be fair, sir? Yeah. So Baba alikuwa sawa. Yeah, alikuwa sawa. 
Alhamdulillah baba yetu amesimama na sisi kimasomo 100% fashion ama ni pesa tu iko tu so you just spend it no i like i like fashion actually even on my in my wardrobe kuna manguo zile expensive ni kozazo nimenunua na sijawahi va sijawahi va nilizinunua tu because i love the design or something like that even shoes kuna viatu zangu zingine sijawahi va handbags name them so fashion is my thing i like i just i'm in love with fashion When was the last time you were in South Sudan? Where? When was the last time you visited South Sudan? Uh, I visited uh, South Sudan in the last year oh, okay. in uh, October. Right, okay. Oh, so so you go there very so you go there very often then. Yes, I go there. Come on the holidays. Naongojia wadogo wangu wakishafunga and then we go. Nenda, nenda. Um Ayla, let's talk about internet. Um look, when I joined TikTok The very first few names ni kwa nasikini kwa tuni Ayola, uh, Bena Softi. Um, so, uh, how did you end up in TikTok? Okay, me, to be honest, when I started, when I started TikTok, unona, before Ayola lijulikana kama Ayola, it was, I was having my peace, I was enjoying TikTok, like TikTok was so lovely. Back then, when I had the 5K, the 10K followers, But now, the more you intend to be famous, the more you have a lot of challenges. So me, to be honest, I don't enjoy the TikTok of nowadays. I don't enjoy TikTok ends when TikTok was TikTok. When TikTok was all about to mind your business, just do you. You know? But, but, but carry, carry, carry on. Yes? Well, so you're, you're talking, carry on, I'm listening. Yeah so I'm like uh, TikTok ya sasa hii ili ni affect kivi yangu and like TikTok ya kitambo when hata hakuna mtu alikuwa anajua Yola ni nani even if I do videos I'm okay hata niende kwa live ya mtu I'm okay it's not like nowadays people are watching they, they want to know what are you doing what are you saying ukikosea tu useme kitu yenye ifai they carry it <laughs> but but uh... Uh, talking about the the current TikTok, but Ayola, um, I could say you are the pioneer of kusediawatu uh, yani, mchango yani. As in, uh, I I know a couple of people um, that you have brought the limelight. You know, bila wewe atunge wajua yani. You know, that's that's just your bias. You're too. Bila wewe, how are you doing? Kuchanga is, uh, is part of my life. Napenda si kuchanga but napenda kusaidia. Hata nikiwa mdogo nilikuwa napenda sana kusaidia. Mimi hadi ningeleta machokora wakae nje ya gate nikimbie ndani I time. Mamangu kama amenda jikoni nichukue zile chakula zote ni wapeleke. So it, I love to, to, to help unaona. Do I understand where I came from? Uh, those that do not know me, I make podcasts on soft skills, and soft skills are those behaviors that make us stand out. Tonight, I'm joined uh, by Ayola. Ayola is a TikToker. She said she's an influencer, and um, yeah, she was sharing with us about herself. We talk about Mchango Yani. Um, you cannot talk about TikTok fundraising without mentioning Ayola. Okay, so umesema kama ukwamdogo ukulapresenta kusaidia. So what went wrong? Yeah. Why did you stop? What went wrong? Um, when I the, the, the reason as to why I, I stopped is because of uh, so many dramas, people not understanding you. Uh, what when you wanna talk aku kukuaribia ndio wafaidike? Like yes, I'm a I'm a I'm a human. Vitu zufanyika 
there's some misunderstanding lakini the way people carry some issues here on this tiktok sometimes it's so unfair cause hao tu ni ulifanya 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 but they don't want to hear or to listen on your side they can't give you a chance ya kuj explain so tiktok iko na watu wa kila aina some people come in the name of you help them kumbe they are not in need they just want to use you unaelewa kuna watu wenye ukweli 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 wanataka hiyo usaidizi but kuna wengine they will just come and mix you up into their games but you utakuwa naifanya ile innocently hauna kitu yote kwa roho yako uko hapo kusaidia but kumbe people are in another mission ama wako na agenda ingine. so au watu wakikuja kupatikana baadaye ati au ndio wakora ama wamedanganya watu they don't yani au yani hawataongelea hao watu sana but right. wewe mwenye ulifungua live yako ukiwa na huyo mtu hiyo siku ndio utaonewa utarushwa mawe hakuna mtu atakusikiliza and let me tell you mtandao once your name is damaged kurudisha hiyo jina tena ni hard kurudisha trust kujenga jina unaweza jenga jina kwa siku moja hivi lakini once imeharibika to return that name back again it's so hard unless kama uko na watu wenye wako na utu na huruma but the bad ones kuna wale wenye wataki kujua hawajui huruma ni nini they will forever judge you watakurushia mawe wataenda hata waki spread from one life to the other huyu ni mpora ali host mtu fulani walichangisha pesa wakaenda wakagawana wakafaidika you get so that is what happened to me mimi kama ayola and i feel so bad it's it's so painful niki tu sijawahi sahau mpaka wa leo because whenever whenever mchango inafanyikanga kwa live yangu mimi mwenyewe I lead by an example. I make sure I send mine first. Nisaidie kwanza. Kuna watu nimewasaidia nyuma ya tent, but people are so ungrateful. Hawatakuja waseme huyu dada kuna siku alinisaidia. Huyu mwanaume kuna siku alinisaidia. They keep quiet. Hata vita baadaye ikikuja ikuwa kali, people will fight you, will gossip about you, will say any kind of nonsense about you. They are nowhere to be found. They are not there to say enyewe is not like this she wants help me or he wants help me without asking for anything in return so me i came and kasema you know what it's it's a lot at the end of the day mimi ndio naumia na jina langu ndio inaendelea kuharibika mimi i'm doing it with a clean heart but some people will not understand that is why i had to put a stop to it na nikasema hakuna mchango Is there anything that you regret? Kutopona sema I I wish I did is okay not so mchango peke yake but do you regret are there things that you regret that you wish onge fanya hivyo? Yeah I I regret um I I regret calling on uh, some people to come and support me the people that I knew yani I thought they have a heart like mine so whenever there is a certain help on my life i used to call them and i be like please come kwa live yako tu unaonanga unakonga na watu 200 tafadhali leta watu wako unisaidie mtu fulani apate usaidizi they will come and do that to show me they are supporting me lakini ile si kwenye kutaumana mimi nitukanwe they are not they are no where to be found they are no where to be found it will be ayola did this ayola did that and ayola did that lakini wao watakaa tu chini wakinichekela as they mock me so i regret ever trusting people on this tiktok putting my faith on some people on this tiktok as if i would have just died alone well that's interesting before we go there let me go back about the phone calls um uh, again wakati mambo yameenda vibaya watu wanaanza kuchambuana nini people releasing recordings of private conversation What's your thought on that in, in, in life in general not just tiktok like you keep coming to see me like mimi na wewe tumonge kwa simu kidogo tu yani when i was trying to make you come to the podcast so what is your take on those people that release private information wakati mambo yameenda vibaya yani uh sorry 
Let me sip something. I've been, uh, I've been. Huh? Apple juice. Maggi. Yeah, that's what I take. Hey, what was the question? Ah, um, I Ayola, congratulations, Ayola. Uh, when is the baby due? I'm not giving out any information. <laughs> if you name that child me... Can we be serious because of time? Okay, okay, of course, yes. Right. <laughs> congratulations, Ayola. That's, that, that's great. About recordings. What are your thoughts? What do you say? See, kuna katimbao, unongia na mtu unye marafiki, mamu ya kina brama, they start sharing the private information and actually the recordings about you're being recorded what's your take on that on recording people that don't know uh you know isha nifanyikia me i'm a type of a person who trusts people so fast unless you your true color but unezata nicheza you can pretend you can pretend you're a good person that but in short, I trust so fast. Mimi ni merekodiwa. Ni merekodiwa sana. Ata pia mimi ni merekod mtu. Ni merekod mtu. Unona. The reason as why I was being recorded, kumbe I was the target. Ju ata ukienda uskilize kwenyezo vitu zilikuwa na chezwa, ni zangu zenye mimi ni mesema. Ndiyo zilikuwa zinatumiwa. Zina tumiwa, zina, zina, zina chezwa repeatedly. Onona. So yo kitu linuuma sana. And then I'm like, when I was talking to those people, si kwa na record, unona. I was loyal to them. Whatever we had discussed, inaishia hapo. Lakini kumbe hao, walikuwa na record. Apo sasa mtandao, royangu pia ikachafuka. I'm like, kama mbaya mbaya. Even me, I started recording them. I started recording them. Unona. But there is something so unique with me. Yes, I have the records. Zile mingi sana na mbaya sana. But I never play them. Ati nikuja kwa life, niseme huya lisema, nakasema, nakasema, I play them. Just as much as they are dis disgracing me out there, I don't do that. You use the word disgrace, and, and uh, that's a very powerful word. And do, do you feel like uh, you were let down by close friends? Yes, I was let down by close friends. Nandio kwa mana unambiwa, eh, Rafiki yako, akifungua uchi wako, nobody will respect you. Atakuwa mefuwa fungulia awa tuwa inje mlango. So any person can just come and say all kind of nonsense. Unona. Na utakuwa, utakuwa na nguvu ya kurespond to them. Because ule Rafiki mwenye alikuwa na anaonekananga na wewe mnakula pamoja mnacheka pamoja asha funua ile uchi yes, yes, yes. so people will come and take advantage hata saa hii comment section si sawa but i'm not looking at that comment section i am past that mimi nikiongea siku i don't look at comment section ju kuna ile mbegu watu wamepandwa kuna ile mbegu watu wamepandwa ya yeah, already okay let's hate a specific person no matter how they will change, no matter how they will change, yo si kazi yetu. Once tumemchukia, tumemchukia, unona. And I came to understand that. That is why mimi siku hizi nimechitenga. Because of my peace, unona. And I'm not petty as before. Kitambo, I, I used to be so petty. Nikisikia mtu fulani amesema kuniusu, nitakimbia nifungue life. Nionge, 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 nilie, nyondoke, unona. I came to a terms whereby wezi badilika mtu mtandao. Mtu wakukupenda atakupenda. Mtu wakukana wewe atakana wewe. Mtu wakuenda ataenda. So just accept that and move on. But don't that react. Is, that is interesting, Ayola. And uh, for the sake of time, um, I'm going to ask you this. First of all, you're a very confident young lady. Where is that confidence coming from? Yani una, 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 
presence, as you can hear, I always hear. You able to come up that presence? Is that because they're bringing um, as, uh, experience, or where where you get your experience from? You are you are confidence from? Me, I'm like that, Mpandao. First of all, I am a fighter, but I fight silently, not physically. Nikisikia umeni kuwaza sana, na suwezi kupuongelesha, ama wezi nielewa, ama ata nikituma mtu wawezi kusikiza. I always pray. You see this God, he has been there since day one. Kama kuna, kama kuna mtu mungu waneza sema na nisumbuanga sana kila dakika, ni mimi ayola. So I have my confidence in God. And I am so bold, unona. Because I know I am a human being. Nikikose, I say sorry. I say sorry. Kama nime kukose, nita kuambia sorry. Ato kinifukuza, bora mi nisha kuambia, I am sorry, unona. That is my boldness. Alafu, I have overcome a lot in this life. Hakuna kitu, hakuna kitu geni kwangu. Hakuna kitu kipia kwangu. I have been bullied even when I was in school. Zile wakati zenye wa Kenya walikuwa naito wa Sudanese Garang. Our former president who just died. We used to be called Garang back in school. Garang, we mweusi, wewe nini, wewe Garang, rudi kwenyu. Unafanya nini kwetu, unona? Hizi vitu zote nimezipitia nikiwa mdogo hadi nikakuja ku mkubwa. Hadi leo hii unaona even if I'm being bullied ni kitu nishazoea. I swallow it. I say sorry where I can and I pray for some healing. That is all. I've got to say that Ayola, uh, those that don't know you, that you come across as a very polite young girl because when I spoke to you on the phone when we arranging this na nilishangaa kidogo. I didn't know that it was fakeness. Ama hadi sikuelewa. But you're very polite. I don't think people understand that. That you are very polite. And also you're very shy. Yeah, I am a shy person, by the way. If you meet me behind the cameras, where's your meaning? Okay. I, 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 I noticed that when I was speaking to you, yeah. the text that we, exp yeah. we were exchanging. Yeah. And So you are a shy guy, but I, people don't know that. Yeah, people don't know that. They'll be like, Ayola ni mraf. Ayola nongeleanga watu vibaya. Okay, like my, my man, my guy. Wana mwambianga, sometimes wana mwambianga, how do you handle such a person kwa nyumba? Muna kanga je, but trust me, you, when you meet with me, this is just camera, wea ba nita, nita ongea, nita fanya nini, but ukipatana na mimi, I will not even face you for two minutes. I know, I see. Na ongeanga kama ni minyama. I know, well, uh, just before we finish, those just joining me right now, I make podcasts on soft skills, and soft skills are those behaviors that make us stand out. If you want to know how to attract opportunities, how to present yourself to employers to get opportunities, follow this account and get to know more about myself. Um, Ayola, how do you fight bullies? Or how, what will you tell people? Because you've got the experience now, you've been bullied, you, you've gone through stuff we mentioned to us right now. When you again to when you wanna, wanna, wanna join Facebook, uh, TikTok, social media right now, what do you tell them? Uh, first of all, uh, in order for someone to bully you, ni mtu mwenye akona information about you, unona. So that when they bully you, they trigger those specific parts. Kuna vile wana kuchuna. Ini kuna vile wana kuchuna, ni mpaka unakosa ata nguvu ya kurespond. Sawa. Be very careful of this TikTok or this social media. Don't give your information out to anybody. Don't. That was the first mistake that I did na ndio ilifanya watu waniingililie vile wanataka. And how to fight bullies? Don't respond. Don't respond. Kuna watu ni wabuli kutoka wakuwe wadogo like they are pros. They are, they are so good at bullying you. Unaona? Don't respond. When you hear a certain life imefunguliwa unaongelelewa, just forget. Najua ni uchungu, it's so hard, but just find something to distract you. You, at the moment you'll go and respond to them, they will respond back. So it will be a forth and back thing. Mutakuwa mkidrag. So Mimi, this is what I did. Mi ata mtu akuje on my life and say, Ayola, you know what? There is a certain life there and they are talking about you. Me, I'll tell them it's okay. It's okay. Let them talk. Na ninyamaze niendele na mambo zangu zenye nilikuwa nafanya. Wale watu nyoko kwa ile life, watasikiliza, aseme, mm, na huya ayola ni nani? Ebu, let's come and see. Ninini ayola pia ya nafanya? Wakikupata, watakupata uko stories ako. 
Wakikupata watakupata kwa story zako, unaongea vitu zako. Unaona mbaya atakuwa ni nani? Mbaya atakuwa ule mwenye amekusanya watu wanakuongelelea. Na sie ti ujui wanakuongelelea, unajua wanakuongelelea but you don't have that time to respond to them. So be quiet, be silent with your bullies, let them do whatever they want to do, but when you feel like it's too much, when you feel like it's too much, you cannot handle it, then take the right procedure because at the end of the day it's not right to bully any person. Kuna watu wamebuliwa mpaka wameenda wamejitoa uhai. If you feel like they are really interfering with your peace or with your privacy or whatever, then you are allowed now to take action, but if it's something you can handle, Always learn to keep quiet. Don't respond. Don't react. Just watch. Well, that's interesting. But you'll agree with me that also social media is good, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. And and people should use it. Um, uh, people should join social media and they should use it as much as they can. I couldn't buy to sign a cabisa. Yeah, you know, buy. You want to run your Ah, social media seem buy, Simbaya, when you come to talk of uh, in other way, in social media, first of all, unona, first of all, sikila mtu ni mbaya. There is some people who you met on this social media na wakawa family. They are like family. A good example is uh, where I am right now. I'm not in my house. Someone just, it's someone who came in as a mother. She stepped in like a mother. Ile wakati when I was being trolled and all that, alikuja kaniambia, I want you to be my daughter. And she has been taking me all through. All this transformation, like how I have transfor transformed is because of her. Uyu mama indi wa meni invite sai na family yangu. She's a Muslim. Na ndi oitu kwa kwake we are enjoying. Aside from that, ameni chanua about business. Zile pesa zinye nilikuwa natupa naenda party na peleka watu out, I'm wasting my money. She has teach me in a right way. Iyo pesa kuna vile uneza fanya, kuna vile uneza fanya. Na huyo mama, nili meet through nini? This social media. Unelewa. This social media, if you have your business, you can advertise it. Okay? Business yako ita, ita, itaenda, utapata customers, utauza. The same same social media if you are if you have a good content a good one unona you can be a brand ambassador utasaidika utafaidika that's what i'm saying on this social media you you don't know who is watching unona we koroga mambo zako tukananga watu fanya hivi bully people the way you want you don't know who is watching lakini wale wajinga wenye wako busy na content zao they are making sense, they are saying good things. Those kind of people, they'll be uplifted. They might get their destiny helper through this social media. Unona. So with social media, just be you, do you. If you have business, do your business. Advertise your business. Unona. If you are a motivational speaker, speak it out. Okay? Just use it wisely. Ayola, two more questions after the question ended. Is there anything yeah. you regret? Is there anything you regret? Yeah, I regret a lot. I regret I regret a lot, a lot, a lot. I regret I regret uh, trusting people into my life. I regret why I took some people in when they needed me as a friend. I regret opening up to some people. In fact, I regret ever meeting some people because it's a, it's a pain, it's a pain. It's a pain that I will never forget in my life. And I always ask God to just make me forget it. But I regret a lot, I regret a lot, a lot. What God is doing. If you, don't, if you allow me, Ayola, I'm going to open the guest section for two or three people to come up and ask questions. Are you okay with that? Yeah, sure, it's okay. Um, I make podcasts on soft skills, and soft skills are those behaviors that make us stand out. Tonight, I am joined by Ayola. Ayola is a TikToker. She was telling to us her story, where she was born, where she went to school, and her experience uh, uh, with social media. Clearly, you can see she's... Uh, she's
She's very emotional. She's Please, upset. I would, like, I would like to drop, okay? Can, can I speak briefly? Hello? Carry on, Miss Candice. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Carry on. Yeah, thanks for hosting me. Ayola? Hey, babe. Hi. How are you? Miss Carry on, proceed with your so, question. What do you want to say? Yeah, I just wanted to tell Ayola she's beautiful. And she shouldn't cry. We love her. Go, you do you, boo. Don't let them bully you. And your hair looks fabulous, boo. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, thanks for coming up. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. See ya. This evening, I was talking to Ayola. Ayola is a TikToker based in Kenya. You can see the effects uh of being bullied ayola did not pay me to have this uh podcast i've been i've been trying to make ayola come to my podcast for months okay it's it, you know for those who don't know making podcasts not easy and to have a guest to come and open up is not that easy so it, it has been a difficult time for me to make ayola come and uh when she was here uh, she spent at least 45 minutes with us you've seen the effects uh she's not healed my platform is a safe area for anyone anyone can come and and share their story uh, unfortunately i don't invite just anyone okay there's a reason why i invite people on my podcast you can go to youtube you see some of the people i've i've, I've had podcasts with uh, the latest one with shimura that was here uh Cielo queen uh chris kirubi jr uh was here as well Auka jr was here as well you can find those podcasts um on youtube Tonight, I was talking to Ayola. Uh, clearly, you can see Ayola is disturbed. I would like to end this podcast, but if Ayola, you're here, please can you come and we finish the podcast? If Ayola, you listen to me, could you come and we finish? I will not open the guest section. I will not invite anyone to ask any question because of obvious reasons clearly ayola needs to heal um ayola has been affected and i've got to tell everyone that ayola did not ask me to have this podcast i have been following ayola for months to try and make her come to my podcast and she finally gave me an opportunity which i don't take for granted you can see the numbers you can see the numbers this number would be here without ayola so i i talk to ayola personally okay <laughs> so to leave if ayola is here right now please uh, oh she's here she's here she's here Thanks for coming up. I'm going to, I will do it with your thumbs. Are you okay if we open at least two people to come to questions or should we just end the podcast? No, it's okay. Okay, it's thank okay. you very much. Like okay, we're going to allow two people to come up. And if you have any question for Ayola, please. And I ask you guys to be to remain respectful. Okay, to Ayola. Hello, hi, where are you calling from? Yeah. Hello, Mama Kyotis. Hi, Mama Kyotis. Mama Kyotis, can you hear me? Right, I'm going to take uh, two more questions or two more people. If you've got a question for Ayola, please send requests and I will bring you up. I ask you guests uh, to remain respectful. For those that will come up, please remain respectful to my guest. Uh, okay, um, I'm going to accept that to Siri. Hi, uh, sweetie. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for coming up, sweetie. Long okay, time. like uh, I don't want to ask any question, but uh, I want to compliment and say some few things. Let's carry on. This is a media plat. This is a media platform, and uh, in any media platform that you join, there must be bullies. There must be words, there must be things that you are being thrown to. But at the same time, you don't have to take uh, these things to your heart. The more you take them to your heart, they are going to damage your emotions and everything that you want to do. All along we do say, 
we forget the past and we keep on moving because if you, you keep know, on re- you know what, uh, rewriting and remembering about the past you know yeah. sweetie there is something i've never opened up about but i think it's good let me mm-hmm. say maybe i will heal from saying it last year in uh i'm a drop si jumps here uko uko niko kwa kelele siko kwa kwa we can hear you i can hear well carry on nani skia yes very well yes please carry on so last year in uh, october i had a miscarriage nikitu sijawahi sema na inanuumanga sana sana because of the pressure and all that and i've been looking for a baby that's, for that's so why long. i'm saying i've been looking for a baby for so long nile mpaka nilianza kuitwa tasa na sikupenda kwangu i've always have a problem of uh, hormonal hormonal imbalance so hizo ndio madawa nilikuwa nakunywa and all that so hiyo ndio ilikuwa naniuma I did been I was wise singe fikia hapo but I thank God Mungu amenionekania tena and I'm going to have a baby So when I think of such things hizo ndio zinanuma It's okay for those who are saying at I am seeking uh, attention I'm not seeking any attention Mtandao kindly close the comment section because there is a lot of negative energy that is not going to make this discussion it to is, be it very It is successful. okay. Let, let them talk. Let, let, let them talk. It's fine. Usifunge comment section. Let them be free. Maybe wakinyongelesha hivyo wanafurahia. It's okay. Okay, I okay, I was just going to compliment on some things then I dropped down. Mtandao. Okay, tell him I am finishing. Oh, like I... Tell him I'm finishing the live okay. and then I can I was saying this is a media platform and uh, in media platform mm-hmm. we have those with negative energy and we have those with positive energy but it's upon you to decide which part are you going to follow are you going to take the negativity too high and or are you going to take the positivity too high at the same time when you focus too much on the negativity it is going to drown you down you understand The moment you focus on that negativity, the words that people are throwing to you, the negative words that people are saying to you, maybe you are a baron, you are something, it is going to hunt you for more and more and more years. And what I'm saying is, uh, no weapon is formed against you, and uh, no, no, no human being can ever cut you and can never tell you anything. I need, I need to go. You understand? Please, eh? that's, that's fine. I truly understand that you are. Like... Bye to a friend. Please. So I need to go. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you so much and uh, thank you for everybody who came to support me in one way or the other. Thank you for those who came to encourage me. May God bless you. I appreciate. I really need to go guys. Bye. Thank you very much. Well, I'm going to end the podcast and I'm afraid those are the questions. I will just be